Hey guys, my name's Russell and I make iRacing videos here on YouTube. If you want to see more of that, please do consider hitting subscribe and maybe that little bell. Okay, so it's a special week this week uh, for IMSA. It's, uh, as far as I know, the first 75 minute race uh, that we've had in this series. So an hour and a quarter. Uh, this is going to be a regular thing now in series. There's going to be uh, the usual 45 minute races, there's going to be two 60 minute races every season and there's going to be a 75 minute race and this is the first one here at Daytona for week six of season one 2021. So we'll do the usual thing. I will do an in-car demonstration lap and then we'll slow it down and break down each corner. Shouldn't take too long, it's quite a quick lap here. Um, but it's it's surprisingly tricky actually uh you know to be fast here you need to have super low downforce to really you know gun up through the gears so it does make some of those slower corners a little trickier than you might think i'll be racing the 24 here uh next saturday which is the 23rd of january if you're around i will be streaming so watch out for that um but if you're racing best of luck to you guys uh and if i don't see you before in my next video, hopefully I'll see you out there on the track. Cheers guys. All right, guys, so as always, we are uh, using uh, race fuel. I think this was lap eight or nine uh, from the start. Um, we're using the race conditions. So this is what we're expecting uh, the sort of track temperatures to be like, uh, the track conditions to be like. Um, so we are just coming up to the line now. And we're going to let the car roll out wide here. Uh, and we're looking now up ahead we've got the hundred board in black on the left then the, we've got the corner of the grass here where the grass ends and then we've got the green cone now cones will come and go as you're racing they're not necessarily going to be there they get knocked over a lot and it might not get replaced before you pass it so try not to take too much notice of the cones let's focus on the hundred board and the corner of the grass now i will tend to break uh just as the corner of the grass ends and we're just coming into the break now um and what we want to do is we're looking to the inside edge um on the left uh there's a painted white line and then it's just grass after these cones um to the left of that is the pit lane exit so what we want to do is try and have a straighter line of braking between here past that edge the that left edge where the where the white line is going out towards the outside of the track 
So we've got minimal steering here. We've done the heavy lifting of our braking already. Uh, now we're aiming the car to the outside of the track where the darker grey concrete, the asphalt, meets the lighter grey kind of overrun for the track. That's where we're going to reach our widest point and it's at that point that we're going to want to start our turn into the left. So we need to get all our braking done really before then and then we'll do a little bit of trail braking as the car turns around. So let's watch that play out. So we're now coming out of the brakes and we really want to get tight to these tyres. It's a little bit freaky, but, um, you know, we want to be tight to it. The tighter we are, the wider our exit, the quicker we can get on the accelerator, the less steering angle we need to have so that we can really pick up the speed nice and quickly. It takes a lot of practice, this uh, corner. This is the simplest way of breaking it down. So we're now back into the accelerator. All acceleration zones around here really do require you to be pretty slow on building up the accelerator. Otherwise, you will uh, lose grip and you'll slide. So now you can see on the left hand side of the track here, we've got two distinct blotches of sandy dirt that's come off, been kicked up off the side of the track. Uh, and we want to really break just as we're rolling over this first patch right in front of us now. And this is a, a full kind of heavy braking zone. So we need to get ourselves right down to first gear as we hit the corner. So braking heavily. Now you'll notice we're not positioned right over to the left hand side of the track. This, these um, two horseshoe corners are very, very long. So there's no benefit in us approaching from the far left hand side of the track. You know, we're just going to be using uh, more distance uh, when we don't need it. So we're in first now. We're really coming out of the break and we've actually approached actually quite close to the start of the yellow curbing. And that's a really good target to aim for when you're braking and getting ready to come right out of the break. I've still got like 8% break here. I'm trailing it in just to bleed off that little last bit of speed so that I can have enough traction to follow the corner round. And then we're back in the accelerator and we're off. Now, ideally, we want to miss this bit of yellow curb on the left here, but we want to use as much track as we can. If we get the line right here, we should naturally just miss this first bit of yellow curb and it will take us out nice and wide onto that second bit of yellow curb while we're accelerating. So that's a good target for a nice clean line around here. We're going to let the car go over to the right. Uh, this little dog leg here is frustrating. It's quite easy on cold tyres to lose it. We we're just coming up to a little kink here on the, on the right. And I always use that as my signal to start my turn in to the left. And we can take a little bit of the yellow curb on cold tyres. It can get messy. Now, uh, we've got a, another long turn here. And it's another kind of like horseshoe turn. So we don't want to approach it all the way over the left-hand side of the track. Uh, we're going to approach it pretty much mid-track, actually. Now, we want to start our braking somewhere around this dark patch in front of us, just beyond it, before the cones. And again, full threshold braking. We're going to start bleeding out as we turn in. And again, we're turning in pretty tight to the start of the yellow curbing. And at the apex point, about just before midway round the yellow curbing, we're going to get back into the accelerator. And again, like all the other slow corners here, we have to re be really slow and steady building up the throttle. Otherwise, we're going to lose traction and ultimately lose time. So we're going to let the car swing out nice and wide as we gun up through the gears. Now we're looking to the cones now on the right hand side and the end just before the new layout here on the right that we're not going to be using. So we're just coming into the brakes now and we want to get ourselves down to first. Um, 
and then we want to start our turn in when we get to the yellow curbing on the right hand edge of the track there so we're starting our turn in and we're aiming now to start accelerating again just as we're halfway round on this yellow curbing on the left now we can be on this curbing but we don't want to use too much of it because it'll upset the car so we're back into the gas now but we're going to build up the gas incredibly slowly coming out of here it's very uneven it goes off camber as we go around this corner but the idea is is we don't want to shoot out super wide here we want to keep it relatively tight on the inside so we're building up really slowly and then as soon as we're straight and we're stable we're back into 100 percent gas and we are flat out now and we just want to keep the car tight to the yellow line we don't want to be bouncing off the yellow line because you know there's a big change in the track angle it's gonna slow us down so we're just nice and tight here all the way up through up to sixth and then as the corner ends we let the car float out and we want to come over to the right hand wall and we're looking at the boards we've got the three board coming up we've got the two and then after the two we've got this uh, kind of light system so between the two and this light pole we're going to start our braking ready for the bus stop we're going to come down to fourth and then we're going to drop it to third just as we're coming in on the curb now you really want to take uh, a shallow line here you want to take as much of this first curb as you can to open up the next curb we don't want the car on the second curb to swing out wide we want to keep the car tight to really open up the final two curbs of the bus stop if that makes sense so we, we've done the absolute bulk of our braking we are just trailing now a little bit so we can keep the car tight on the second curb and then we're going to come right out of the brake and introduce the accelerator once we're straight if you introduce the gas too soon uh, then the car isn't going to turn in enough and you're going to get an off track or a slow down on exit here so you need to make sure that the car is suitably turned in first um, and it's bitten so then you're going to get traction as you turn the wheel while accelerating so let's see that happen now you can take a little bit past the yellow curbing here without getting an off track uh, any more than where i am now and you will get an off track you don't get a slow down until you push it really far um, but those off tracks here can really mount up especially in a long race So now we're going to do exactly as we did before. We're going to keep the car quite low uh, off the apron though um, and gun all the way up to sixth. And now we're coming up to the final corner. We can see the start finish line in the distance. I just want to spend a second on pit lane because pit entry here is super easy but it's very difficult to get the timing bang on to to hit a really good clean pit entry without losing too much time without risking uh, the penalty so we see this tight angle here on the left where the white line uh, goes from straight to uh, straight in line with this double yellow line to then going off on its own angle that is going to be our breaking point and we are going to we would break here start breaking here follow the line rounds full threshold braking and then you can see the yellow cone there uh, in the distance uh, that is where um, you need to be at pit speed but for the rest of the slap all we need to do is keep gunning and then as we go around the corner we'll let the car just float out wide as we cross the line and then we can line ourselves up for our next entry into the dreaded term one all right guys well look i hope that was useful 
I uh, hope you have a really good week of racing here. Don't forget to grab my setup and the ghost cars to help you along your way. Uh, let us know how you get on with your races. Uh, let us know how you get on with your practice. If it's helped, please do give it a like. If you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, please do subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I will see you out there on the track at some point this week. Have fun, guys. Cheers.